Hey guys, welcome to Spear Outdoors. On today's video, we're going to start a fire with a number two pencil. For this video, you're going to use number two pencil, your good old knife, a pair of jumper cables, and a 12 volt battery in a vehicle. First, you want to hook your jumper cables up, negative and positive. Then you want to take your pencil and take the eraser end off. Next, you want to shave all the shavings off of this pencil on one side, all the way down to the graphite. Once your pencil is shaved, you should be able to see the graphite all the way down through this side of the pencil. This is what it should look like. You want to take your jumper cables. Now one side of these jumper cables have the wire going to the battery. That's the side you want to touch the graphite. So let's do this. Let's put the negative on first. And we'll put that on right here. Making a good connection. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing with the positive. Once you get your positives and your negatives lined up on the graphite, I don't know if you can see it smoking. Once I hooked the jumper cables up to the pencil, I set it down where I wanted to start my fire. And then I laid my tinder, in this case, which was oak leaves, on top of the graphite in order for it to catch fire. Look at there, ladies and gentlemen. We got a fire started with a number two pencil. Once the smoke started really picking up, I gave it some air and then all of a sudden it burst into flames. After shaving the pencil all the way down to the graphite, I found that the shorter the distance between the negative and the positive had better results. The further apart it got, the longer it took to even smoke, but the closer together, it produced the fire. 